Hello, today we're going to discuss how to fill out an ancestor chart. Using an ancestor chart is an integral part of recording family research. Also called a pedigree chart, the ancestor chart is a great tool for clearly showing a person's ancestral lines. The chart is also helpful in organizing your information. You can see at a glance where the gaps are and where you need to focus your research. Start with an individual and add that person's direct ancestors. Fathers are recorded on the even-numbered lines and mothers are on the odd-numbered lines. Include names, dates, and places of the main life events. The most helpful components are dates for birth, marriage, and death, as well as the location of each life event. There are standard formats for recording information. By following these standards, the data can be interpreted correctly by people with whom you share your research, both now and in the future. Record names in correct order, first, middle, last, with the surname being in all capital letters. For women, use the maiden name. There are also correct ways for writing dates, day, month, year, and locations, smallest geography to the largest. Fill out the chart using a pencil until you have documented a particular fact, then you can write it in pen. Keep your charts organized by numbering them. Don't forget to include the sources you use for your ancestor chart data. The reverse page of our chart is designed for this. Now that you have a chart, you should be able to tell at a glance just where you need to conduct more research. Remember to focus on one question at a time, and don't forget to enjoy your search and share your findings with your family. Thank you.